All right, in this tutorial, we're going to go over just the basics, basics here uh, in Unity. Uh, this is a Unity scene so far. And these are uh, all our assets that we've created in Maya. And now uh, I've imported them into uh, Unity. Now I will uh, show you this whole process, but I want you to see what it's going to look like uh, when we're finished. Um, you can see our uh, first person controller right here. Uh, in the scene, I've got it already located uh, in a nice spot, so when we hit play, uh, we don't have to walk around too far. So uh, you also see that I have some lights. We're going to go over how to put some uh, lights and take out uh, the regular lights in the scene, and also how to duplicate uh, these objects uh, in the scene. So let's go ahead and hit play, and we'll see what this looks like. And so if we use our mouse, we can actually uh, scroll around look around the scene and so you can hit uh, actually hear footsteps and you can see we have a collision on the wall so we can't go uh, out of the wall and you can see our normal maps uh, showing up here on the surface and you can look down and see our grading system that we created uh, with uh, just a PNG. All right, so you can walk out and you'll fall off into uh, no man's land, we will put some doors. We'll model a door on a uh, next tutorial. And uh, we'll uh, show you how to write a script to open up the door. But uh, that's for our next lesson. I wanted to keep this simple for the first one, uh, keep it uh, fun and easy. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and stop that. I'm going to go ahead and create a uh, new project. And I'm just going to go ahead and create it. Uh, save that one out. Test. All right. In the last <coughs> last tutorial, I'll show you guys how to delete the history, uh, freeze transformation, and then also export all your uh, assets as FBX. Um, uh, you need to make sure you do that for uh, left, right, center, and the middle bracket one that we created. So what we're going to do is uh, we've got a brand new scene here. There's nothing uh, in there uh, except just a blank a Unity file. Uh, what we can do is probably take out the directional sun if you want, uh, or we can just leave it uh, for now. We can delete it late in just a bit. What I'm going to do is go ahead and create a uh, uh, mesh, and so we're just going to go ahead and create a game object. So we're going to do a 3D object cube, and what we're going to do is zero it out so the position is zero, 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 and I'm going to go ahead and scale this up to 50, and on the z-axis, 50. All right. So this is uh, almost exactly like Maya, uh, the way you interact with the space. So I'm going to show you a little bit about the uh, interface here. So uh, right here is our scene. This is our game uh, view, if we were playing. And this is our scene. And in the scene, you can uh, rotate just like in Maya uh, with Alt and left mouse. And then Alt um, middle is oscillate and Alt uh, to go in and out. Now, if we were really far away and we had uh, like a directional light and we want to go close to our uh, directional uh, or to our cube, we can hit F and it'll zoom it in just like in Maya. Uh, I'm not sure about the A feature if it shows everything in this scene or not, but uh, F will zoom in. W is our move tool, so we could do move, uh, Apple Z to go back, E to rotate if we want to rotate. Uh, Apple Z to undo and R to scale. We're definitely going to scale this up. All right. So one of the things we want to do is go ahead and import um, a controller. So in our assets folder here, we're going to go right click, import uh, package, and we're going to do a character. So let's go ahead, import that in. And you can see uh, it's importing all this information. Uh, just go ahead and keep it default. Uh, we're going to hit import. It may take a couple seconds, uh, maybe about 10 and 20 seconds to um, upload this. And 
And so what this is, this is a character controller. So we're going to use one little asset of it and uh, drop it onto uh, this cube here. And then we're going to hit play so we can walk around so you can see what it looks like. All right. So we're going to go look, go ahead and look at our prefabs, our models, materials, scripts. So these are all the different uh, things that we have. So we've got character. We'll go ahead and open that up. First person controller and uh, prefabs. And we're going to grab this first controller right here. You can see it up here. This is an inspector. It kind of shows everything. We'll get a, into a lot more of this, uh, but this is a basic um, first person controller. So I'm going to grab this little box and dump it right here on the stage. I'm going to hit F so I can get a little bit closer. You can see it's kind of a pill shape, and we want to make sure this pill shape is above the floor. Now, if it was uh, where we left it, it would go right through uh, and just keep falling, falling. So we're going to go ahead and test it. Really not much in the scene right now, but uh, we just want to make sure everything's working. So we're going to hit play. And uh, I don't know if you can hear the walk step stepping. And you can see uh, we can walk around this. And if we keep walking, uh, you can see that we're actually uh, falling uh, off of the space. All right, so we don't want that to happen, so we're going to put our props in there and stop that. So we'll go ahead and stop that. All right, so what we're going to do is go ahead and import our assets that we uh, spent so uh, long building this morning. So we're going to go ahead and go File, or I mean, sorry, Assets, Import New Assets. I go to my desktop and go ahead and pull these guys in. So uh, remember I called the first one. This is a straight line one, number one. We may have uh, labeled it completely different, it's fine, and import. And remember we have the uh, diffuse map and also normal map. Um, so it's asking about the PNG and also the, the PNG had a tech normal map and also the, just the diffuse on the walls had a normal map. So we're, we're basically telling it, yes, we know those are normal maps, uh, please fix them now. So hit fix now. and. Uh, That'll give us what we need. Uh, so let's go ahead and import them all together. Let's see, we'll just do one at a time. Import new asset. Okay, scroll down. Sorry, I've got a lot of stuff on my desktop. Uh, I'll go ahead and left. All right. So it doesn't ask you to fix it because it's uh, we're all we're using all the same. Uh, textures, so it should know. So we're going to do uh, import. Let's see if we can grab two at a time. Uh, let's do one at a time. We'll be here all day. Yep, for some reason, I want it to do one at a time. Okay, and we'll do one more. Should be a way of importing several of these at one time. I'm not sure why it's doing that. All right, so what I'm going to do is you can open this up and you can click on your different uh, props that we've made. Uh, click on them and you can kind of see them in here. You kind of spin around. I think you can zoom in maybe. Uh, so what we want to do is on each of these, we're not going to look at everything here, but we're going to make sure these have colliders. So Right here in the assets, we're just going to click on them, and we're going to generate a collider. All right, we're going to go ahead and apply. It'll take a millisecond to do that. We're going to go to the next one and generate collider. And the reason why we're doing this is uh, that way, when we're walking through the space, if we walk to the wall, it keeps us contained. We don't want to be able to walk through uh, like a ghost or anything. All right, so we're going to do the last one. Generate Collider, hit Apply. All right, so we're good. All right, so I'm just going to do a couple of these. I'm not going to spend a whole tutorial uh, creating a scene. So we're going to just go ahead and drop that in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, position that into uh, the origins, 0, 0, 0. And you can see, uh, 
it's very small, so we need to scale this up. So, so W, see it, hit F. Oops. Let's make sure we're grabbing all of it. Okay, that's a shadow, sorry. All right, so we're gonna scale this up. And what we're doing is trying to scale it up so uh, it's in uh, big enough that our character, that our first person uh, character can walk through that space. So we're gonna scale it up and I think a very large scale. Go ahead and scale that down just a little bit. W, you see we have a real time shadows, which is pretty cool. And let's go ahead and look what that looks like. Okay, so we're gonna look around our scene, see where that is, and we're gonna walk in. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Uh, it's a little small, we gotta make it just a touch bigger. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, grab our geometry. So uh, when you grab your geometry, there's two pieces in there. Just make sure you uh, double click it so you're grabbing uh, all the geometry. Oops. Stuff together. I just did a shift so that, that way you can grab both. Should be, I think you double click to pull this up. And now let's test it again. All right, so you saw how I had to walk around. So now if I walk into the wall, we have a collision. You can see our normal maps are working. You can see our alpha channels working and there. It looks uh, pretty good. So let's go ahead and stop this. I like the scaling of that, it looks pretty good. Now the only reason I put this down here so we wouldn't fall through while we're testing this uh, block. Later on, you can uh, delete it. All right. So um, the next thing I would also do is uh, go ahead uh, put your pill inside uh, the space. So that way when you start right off the bat You're in the scene so you don't have to walk around. All right, so it's pretty good. Go ahead and stop that And we'll go ahead and select the geometry Select our floor to Apple D All right, I'm gonna do Apple D again. It's just like in Maya, Command D. I'm not sure what it is for a PC, but we can go ahead and go ahead and see what a longer corridor looks like. All right. So it's pretty cool. All right, so now we wanna add some other attributes uh, to this. So we've got the, uh, the middle prop, which is uh, as you know, it has the uh, four intersections here. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag that in. Go ahead and zero it out. Okay. And then I'm also going to scale it up. R. W. That's a tiny little guy. All right. You could look at your uh, scale factor. Uh, and make it uh, similar to the other one. I found that I was just doing it by eye. Put this intersection here. F to get it centered and lucky. Okay, now look inside. What you're trying to do is get rid of all those seams. Scale it up. W. And you can do some vert snaps on here, I think. All right. But again, we're just doing it really quickly. Don't really care what it uh, looks like. We're just trying to get some uh, something that looks like a, a scene so we can walk in. So you can see it's not, uh, see the seams right there. But anyway, we can make an endless uh, loop here. Yeah, that's pretty good. 
So I'm going to stop it here. Um, next uh, recording, I'm going to do lights, how to put the lights, how to delete the directional light, uh, and finish up the scene, and then show you really quickly how to publish it. Again, we're not going to do too far with this. We're we'll, next uh, class. We'll work on the scripting on how to open a door and maybe a couple other functionalities. So we're going to kind of ease into Unity uh, today.